In this tutorial, I'm going to cover how you can create your first layout in Xlights and how you position objects on your display. I'm not going to cover in this tutorial the detailed explanation of each prop that will be done in subsequent videos. So let's look at what we get when we open Xlights. We just get a blank, blank screen. So the first thing we need to do is we need to take a picture of our house you can do this on your mobile phone or whatever, but get a picture of your house, preferably at night time, with a flat side view of where you're going to be viewing your show from. And I've done that here, so we can see here it says background image. So we click here and we point to our image. Preferably, you should have put this image in your show folder. That would be the best item. And you can see I've loaded this in, but it's not actually lined up on my display. So the first thing I'm going to do is position the picture in the display. So to do this, we have several controls available. So if we press and hold the mouse wheel, so click it and press and hold, we can now move the image. I'm going to move it to the center of the screen and let go. You can also resize the image if it's the incorrect size by scrolling the mouse wheel so we can zoom out and zoom in. Okay, and then I'll reposition again. So now we have our image ready to start placing props. Now, it may be the case that when you bring it in, you end up with a really bright image like this. Now, when you're doing your sequencing, this is probably not what you want because you can't really see the effects. So you can actually pull back the brightness. Okay, but however, for the lane of props, I'm going to keep the brightness at full. So let's look at how we start laying props first. So if we look here, there's three states that these icons can be in, and these are your props. So the first one is black. They're all black. If I click on this screen, nothing happens as regards placing props. I can, you know, do this drag action. But if I want to start placing props, I have two options. I can click once and it will go light color. And now I can create a prop. And once I've created one prop, you'll see it goes black again. So if I click on the screen, nothing happens okay I can still select this prop there you go the next option is if we click twice it goes even lighter and what will happen now if I create a prop I can carry on by left clicking creating more and more of this prop when I'm finished I must make sure I go back here and turn off again now I've got all of these that I don't need. So let, how do we delete them? One way we can click and select the item and hit the delete key. We can also find the item here. We can select one or multiple items and we can hit the delete key. Or we can drag and select multiple items and hit the delete key. So, Let's now create some arches on our display. So we click once and we create our arch. Now, a good thing is if we give it a name like arch one and save, I'm going to now select this item. And now I'm going to size it accordingly. So I think, okay, let's size it here. I think that's about the size my arches are going to be. You can see we can rotate here, but we can also do this where we can skew the arch as well, not needed in this case. And then we're going to position it in place. We've now got arch one. Now, if we were creating multiple arches that are going to be exactly the same dimensions, the easiest way is to select one and press Control C on our keyboard. Now move away and control V, control V, and we've now created two more arches. But the good thing is it's maintained the naming convention that we used for the first arch, arch one, arch two, arch three. 
So now I can position those. So click, position, click, position. And there we go, the archers are done. Like I said, there's lots of settings that need to be set on these archers, but that will be for another video. So quickly now, some candy canes, drag into the appropriate size. You can see it's created three candy canes. I'm just going to come here and change it to five. Okay, and then resize. You can see we can tilt those candy canes as well and resize them. The next one I'm going to do, I'm going to do these five windows and I'm going to use the multiple create option by clicking twice. And now I can click on the top corner and drag down. Click on the top corner and drag down. And I'm going to make this the incorrect size so we can correct that in a moment. And you can see we could go around the entire house. Make sure once you've finished, we click here. So now the thing is, how do we correct a problem? So the first thing is we can click a prop like this, and that allows us to press and hold and move our prop around. I'm going to move it into position. Then we get these grab handles, and these grab handles will allow us to resize. I'm going to resize there. But you notice we also have this grab hand handle, and that allows us, in this case, to rotate. Yeah, on here that grab handle did more of a tilt. Yeah, rotate. And depending on the prop, it will do a slightly different action. So we've created those. Let's put a mega tree in there. So there we go. We have a nice big mega tree. And you can see here we can have an upside down mega tree if we so wish. It will rotate, but not needed. Oops. I'll just tell you one thing. Sometimes you have this app open where you click something and move it by mistake. If you're happy with the position of a set of items, you know, you've sized them and you're happy with them. If you right click, you can actually choose to lock. Now what will happen is I cannot move. If I click and drag, it won't move. Okay, so that's useful. When I want to move it again, I can right click, unlock. But I'll cover this in another video, the more detailed items the more complex we're just laying out your your show so there we've got our mega tree and let's why not let's put a star on top so we select the star and we can position a star on top of our mega tree one final option i'm going to cover is the custom options yeah so we can actually click here we can click and download some custom elements we select this one but we get a sort of strange thing we don't really get much of a change but if we drag we get an empty display and when I let go it loads the vendors props so so these are, are props that you can buy uh, so I'm going to look for a singing tree so I'll just put singing and search and you can see we've got singing elements here and I'm going to say this one a Christmas tree and I click insert model and you can see I've now got a singing Santa and I'm going to position that here on the house so there you go just so just in summary click to select an item left click and hold to move it around grab handles at the side to resize Grab handles at the top generally to rotate and tilt. And control C to copy a prop and control V to paste a prop. Okay, and once you're finished designing, make sure you click this save button so that everything is done. Okay, and like I say, we'll go into more detail about all of these settings in follow up videos. So until next time, see you later.